Hi everyone and happy Hanukkah. I'm Debbie Singer. I'm the PJ Library Program Director with the Jewish Federation, the San Gabriel Pomona Valleys. And I'm so, so happy that you were able to join us this morning. We are going to have a very close up and personal visit with one of our very favorite authors. Ann Kofsky, Kofsky sorry, has written and illustrated several kids books, including the Kayla and Kugel series. But before we get begin, I wanted to give you a few reminders. This is a Zoom meeting format, so you will be able to control the view that you desire by clicking on the box in the right hand corner of your computer screen. Or if you're on another handheld device, just swipe right. Also, if you wouldn't mind, could you put your kids names in the uh, Zoom box so we can converse with you. And after Anne reads her book, I hope that parents and kids alike may have some questions for her. And if you do, just raise your hand, she'll call on you. Um, if you have a copy of the book, you may want to follow along and make sure you have, I see your book, yay. Uh, a couple of blank pieces of paper and something to draw with. So now I am so happy to introduce you to the creator and illustrator of Kayla and Kugel's Happy Hanukkah, Ann Kofsky. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for that great introduction, Debbie. I so appreciate it. And thanks to Alvi and who else is there? Somebody holding a red dragon is here too. So that's very exciting. Nice to see you all. Um, I'm so glad you came. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you about um, Kaylin Kugel and making books. So before I begin, I need to know if you guys are book people. So if you like to read books in your house, can you put your hand, one hand on your head? Do you guys like to read books in your house? Ah, and if you like to read books in your school, put your other hand on your head. Okay, so it looks like you guys can put your hands down now. You guys, you're book people. I love talking to book people because I make books. Now, since you know so much about books because you're book people, you probably know that there's two kinds of people in charge of making a book. There's a person in charge of making the words. That's the, do you guys know what that is? That, that's the author, right? I knew you knew. And then the person who's in charge of the pictures is called the illustrator. But I am both. I'm the author and the illustrator. So I make both the words and the pictures for the books that I make. Now, the first thing that you have to do when you're making a book is you have to come up with an idea. That's the hardest part. Hardest part. But, you know, I'll tell you how I came up with my idea for Kayla and Kugel. Did you notice, I noticed, that there were a lot of books about dogs? For example, since you're book people, have you guys ever met Spot? If you know Spot, touch your nose. You guys don't know Spot? Oh, I see one person knows Spot. But maybe you know this book about a dog. Do you know this one? Okay, if you know this, okay, I see that Alvi knows. Excellent, and the Shapov family knows too. So um, there were so many books out there about dogs, so many. And, and there's Biscuit, and there's Blue from Blue's Clues, and there's Scooby-Doo, but I had never seen a book about a Jewish dog. And I decided that's my idea. I'm gonna make books about a Jewish dog. Um, and I did. At first, I made Kayla and Kugel about Shabbat. And then I made Kayla and Kugel about Passover. And then I made the one that you guys seem to have, which is Kayla and Kugel about Hanukkah. Now, the name of the dog was the other idea I had to have because I needed to come up with the dog's name. And I have a lot of dog neighbors. Do you guys have any neighbors who are dogs? Yeah? Do you? Yeah, I have a lot of neighbors who are dogs and I'm gonna tell you their names. Their names are Cookie and Brownie and Cupcake. And there's even one named Hummus and then there's another one named Pepper. And I noticed something very similar about those names. They were all foods. So I decided if I was gonna make a Jewish dog, 
and make a story about a Jewish dog, he should have a name that's a Jewish food. So I thought maybe his name could be Chala, but then it would just be a Shabbat dog. And then I thought his name could be Latka, but then he would just be a Hanukkah dog. So I came up with an all year round Jewish food, which is Kugel, and that's how Kugel got his name. Okay, so once I knew the book is about a Jewish dog, and then once I knew that the dog's name was Kugel, I came up with the girl's name. Her name was going to be Kayla because it kind of sounded like Kugel and they sound good together. And then I had to figure out what should they look like. And that was tricky because I can't, if I wanted to know what Alvy looks like, I come to Alvy's house and I say, hi, Alvy. And I look at him and I see he has blue sleeves and brown hair and beautiful brown eyes and I know how to draw him. But Kayla is imaginary, and I'm the one that has to imagine her. So I don't know what she looks like. So what I did was I decided to get some ideas from other characters. And I went and looked at some other characters. So I'm going to share my screen. Can you guys see this? Can you Do you guys know Elephant and Piggy? Yeah. So I was looking at Elephant and Piggy, and I decided I'm going to look at how elephant's eyes are. If you look at elephant's eyes and piggy's eyes, there's, they're not like real eyes. They're just dots. So I said, oh, when I draw Kayla, I'm going to make her dots eyes like elephant and piggy. And then I looked at Dora. Do you guys know Dora? Well, did you ever notice that Dora has a giant head, huge, huge head? Her head is almost as big as her whole body. Huge head, kind of like a football. So I said, aha, when I draw Kayla, I'm going to give her a giant head like Dora. And then I looked at Abby Kadabi. And what I love about Abby Kadabi is her really cool pigtails or ponytails. Not sure what to call them, but they're messy and they're big and they're fun and they go all over the place. So I said, aha. I'm gonna do that when I do Kayla also. Now, do you guys, are you ready to draw along with me? Do you have a pen, pencil and some paper? Oh, Alvy's ready. And I see that the uh, the shop of home is waiting. I don't know if the other people, their screens aren't on. Um, mm, you could just watch if you don't have paper or you'll be able to catch up. We're gonna do the dog too. So we're gonna start, we're gonna start with Kayla and then we're gonna do the dog, okay. So the first thing we're going to do, oh, she's waiting. Oh, here he comes. Yay, to the rescue. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. So first, do you remember Dora's head? Huge, giant oval, kind of like a football. You see how I did that? Okay. All right, step two. Just like Elephant and Piggy, we're going to do dots for eyes very very simple features like elephant and piggy then just a little tiny curve for a nose and then a really big curve for a smile because Kayla is very happy dog I mean Kayla's very happy person not a dog sorry <laughs> here I'm switching markers on you so part of her is going to be purple don't mind but you could ignore that okay next thing for her ears we're going to do a C Oh, let me tilt that so you can see it. See, it's the letter C. And then a backward C. Okay. And then a neck is two curves. And then for her shirt, it's one curve. That just gives her her shirt. Okay, now is the most fun part about drawing Kayla. Okay, it's the scribble scrabble part. Oh, that's a good beginning. I just saw his. All right. So first we're gonna do scribble scrabble on top of her head, kind of like a triangle of scribble scrabble. And then we're gonna scribble scrabble to her ear and scribble scrabble to her other ear. And do you remember Abby Kadabby's fun braids? So we're gonna make one starting from this side, scribbling all the way down to her ear. So that's one braid. And then I'm gonna start the other one over here because. Kayla's braids go all over the place. They're just crazy. Scribble down to her ear. Scribble, scribble, scribble. And then like a lot of little girls 
Kayla wears bows in her hair to hold the braids, so that's easy too. You just do a triangle, a circle, and a triangle. That's one bow. And then on the other side, you do a triangle, a circle, and a triangle. And I'll give her some shoulders. Hello, Kayla. So nice to meet you. Can you guys hold yours up? I'd love to see your Kayla's. Oh, I like that one on pink paper. Thank you for sharing it. Can I see yours too? Very nice. They look like Kayla. This is awesome. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So would you guys also like to learn how to do Kugel? Touch your nose if you want to do Kugel. Okay. Here comes Kugel. <laughs> Okay, now Kugel is a dog, and dogs are smaller than people usually. So Kugel's gonna, we're gonna draw Kugel a little bit smaller. And instead of starting with that giant football, we're gonna start with like a smaller oval. So you guys can do that. And then we're gonna draw a pretty big upside down U. So it goes like this, up and down. Okay, okay, next, just like Kayla had dots for eyes, Kugel also has dots for eyes. So one dot and two dots. And now we're gonna do a triangle for Kugel's nose like that. I'm gonna fill it in. Okay, watch the next step. It's gonna be two J's, one J forwards and one J backwards. And then I don't know how to describe this, so make sure you watch me because I don't know how to put it into words. But basically, you got to start over here and go down and touch his cheek and down and touch his cheek. And that's how we make the ears. Okay. The next couple of steps are all lines, so it's pretty easy. So we do line, line for his neck, line, line for his collar, and we're going to close the collar with two more lines. Okay, two little baby lines to hold a circle, because that's his dog tag. See baby lines and circle. And then a big K, because K is for Kugel. Curve, curve, and now we've got Kugel. Could I see your Kugels when you're ready? Sounds like I'm asking to see Potato Kugel, but I'm asking to see your drawings. <laughs> oh, I love the one on pink paper. I love the one on white paper. Those are the two I can see. Debbie, can you see any others? I, those are the ones I see that are here. Those are really well done, guys. Thank you for showing me. Okay, now, um, if you'd like, I can read you the story. Would you guys like to see my story? <laughs> Would you guys like to hear the story? Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen again, and here's the story. And let's move that over here so you can see it. And here I go. Kayla and Kugel's Happy Hanukkah by Ann Kosky. That's me. I'm Kayla, and this is my dog, Kugel. We are getting ready for Hanukkah. I'm looking for the menorahs. Kugel is helping me. Kugel, that's not what we're looking for. Because Kugel, I have to tell you, always does things in a very silly way. And he got this box, which is not the Hanukkah box, but it's the Purim box. Oh my goodness, so silly. So if you look at Kugel, we know he has the Purim box. Why? What's inside the box? Is there a menorah in there? Is there a Purim mask in there? There's a couple of them. And there's a Grogger. And here's a little basket for Mishlach Manot. So he definitely found the wrong box. But 
And he put a crown on because that was part of the Purim costumes. But Kayla tells him, it's okay. You can pretend to be a king because there's a king in the Hanukkah story too. Oh, but true, look, Kayla, she found the right box. She's got a box with menorahs and some candles and some dreidels. So she found them and they're going to go downstairs and set them up. Kogo, let's clean the windowsill so we can put the menorahs here. Did you know that long ago, a king said that the Jewish people couldn't celebrate their holidays anymore? No more Passover. No more Shabbat, he said. They couldn't go to their temple and they couldn't light the temple menorah. Its flames used to shine brightly, but now it stood dark and cold. Uh-oh, I think Kugel is going to be silly again. He is. Kugel, we're not, we're using Hanukkah candles tonight, not Shabbat candles. Look what he's holding in his mouth. He got the wrong thing. Put that away, please. Do you want to hear the rest of the story, Kugel? Okay. The Jewish people fought back and won. The king's soldiers ran away. And the Jewish people went to the temple to light the menorah. But the king's soldiers had wrecked the temple and the oil for the menorah was missing. You can see these people on the bottom here. They keep looking for the oil, but all the oil jars are broken. And the Jewish people had to make everything right again. Hey, Kugel, just because the soldiers made a mess in the temple doesn't mean you have to make a mess. Finally. They found enough oil to light the menorah for one day. But the oil lasted for eight days and nights. It was a miracle. And that's why we light our Hanukkah menorahs for eight nights. See, Daddy's lighting this menorah, and Kayla's lighting this menorah in the middle, and Mommy's lighting this menorah. And the baby is not lighting a menorah because that would not be safe. And the dog is not lighting menorah because that would also not be a good idea. So they're just watching. Hey, Kugel, why are you running around and around? Oh, I get it. You're spinning like a dreidel. Let's all play dreidel. Happy Hanukkah. The end. Thank you so much for listening to my story. Do you, does anybody have any questions for me about Hanukkah or about Kayla and Kugel or about writing or about illustrating? And, and grown-ups can ask me questions too, if you'd like, but I don't know if they're able to unmute themselves. How does this work? Um, I can also check the chat if you want to type it into the chat. Everybody should be able to unmute if you'd like to know, if you'd like to ask a question. Ah, thank you, Jake. Jake, you can ask a question too, if you want. <laughs> we yeah, have a question. Like we have a question. Who has a question? Yes, Alvi. We want to know how many books you've written. Oh, a lot. I've written 30. Well, if you count, depends how you count, but about 35. Wow. And I told, I showed you three of them. Three of them are about Kayla and Kugel. And then I also am making a new book, but that's not out yet. And it's going to be about a cat because I already did the dog. So it's time for the cat. What's the cat's name? The cat's name is going to be Tuli. Tuli. As the Hebrew word for cat is Chatul. So Tuli is like a good nickname for a cat. Nice. Well, thank you for this. This is wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. And you have another question. Yes, I don't know her name. I know that her father's name is probably Ron. But I don't know her <laughs> yeah. name. Natalia. Natalia, what's your question? Why does the mom and dad and Kayla light their own menorahs? Oh, why do they each light their own menorahs? That's a really good question. So some families light one menorah for the whole family. Um, and other families, everybody gets their own menorah. It's because there are different kinds of Jewish families and everybody does it different ways. So that's the way that Kayla and Kogel's family likes to do it. How do you light it in your house, Natalia? Do you have one or do you have lots? I have one. Yeah? Is it big or is it small? 
Well, I made it by myself. That is wonderful. I like that your family uses the manure you made. That's a very good tradition. Now we go to it again. Oh, wow. That's a cool one. That's good color. I love the hot pink color. Did you pick that color? Yeah. Okay, it's okay. Can I talk to me? Okay. Well, Albie was saying we each have our own. So just like in the book, we each have our own menorah. Oh, and and Alvi, what kind of menorah do you have? Is yours pink like Natalia's or is it a different color? It's a train menorah. A train menorah. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. That's cool. And what does your dad's menorah look like? Kind of a modern art one. Yeah. Is, with it, mommy. is, it, is it silver? It's a tree. Yeah. Mommy, oh, is it is a tree. tree. That's a really good one because each yeah. car can hold more candles, right? That's a really good, that a train is a perfect menorah. Yeah. And mommy's is a tree. That's what you said. Oh, pretty. Yeah. And I see a menorah behind Debbie. Debbie has a very lovely menorah with flowers on it. Well, if I share my screen, I can show you one more thing about the menorahs that are in the Kayla and Kogel book. Let's see if I'm able to do this. Can I go back? Um, My menorah comes from Israel. Oh, that makes it extra special. Yep. It, can you guys see this page with the three menorahs? Yep. So if you look really, really closely, I'm going to see if I can zoom in. Will it let me? It may or may not. I won't let me zoom in anymore. So you got to squint. All right, go like this. And if you look at Kayla's menorah, her menorah is a little bit like Natalia's because it's got those silver bolts on top that hold the candles, because Kayla made her menorah too. But hers is made out of letter blocks. So it says K-A-Y-L-A -A for Kayla in English. And then if you start from this side, it says Kayla in Hebrew, Kuf, Yud, Lamed, Hey. So her menorah is very specific to Kayla, just like your menorahs, ooh, like that train one, which I can see now. Hey, is that Thomas? It looks a little bit like Thomas. It's almost Thomas. It's, it's like almost Thomas. Thomas. That's the best kind of Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a really nice menorah. And yes, Debbie. Um, you said that you named um, Kugel after a food, but I'm not sure everybody knows what a Kugel is. Do you want to explain? Oh, okay. That's a great question. So a Kugel is a Jewish food It's uh, that can be anything really because it could be a potato kugel there could be apple kugels there could be noodle kugels but it basically means you throw in the food into the bowl you mix it up with eggs and you bake it together and it's usually quite delicious like a pudding i think is what the english word might be yes yeah or right do but you I'm not have what the pudding is either <laughs> so maybe it's mushed up food that tastes good they're yummy they're really yummy and what is the future for Kayla and Kugel? Well, I'm taking suggestions. What holidays do you guys think I should do next? Oh, I have one. Yes. What do you think I should do, Debbie? I think you should do to be Shvat. Oh, that could be fun. They could they could plant a tree then. Yep. And they could be outside the house. I've never had them outside the house. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? That's cool. What do you think oh. I should can tell you? Oh, oh Alvi has an idea. What do you say, Alvi? Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, that would be so nice. Then what would then what, what should Kugel do? What could what would Kugel do on Thanksgiving? Should he eat turkey? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Natalia, do you have an idea of what holiday we should do next with Kugel? No, that's okay. I had an idea that maybe they should celebrate Sukkot next. Mm -hmm. So we're going to wait and see. That would be a good one. Yeah, that'd be fun too. Again, it would be outside right. <laughs> and right. out of their living room. And lots of building. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very Do nice. you guys have any other questions about being an author, illustrator, or anything about Kanika? Do you do adult books also? Um, no, I, I, I've written articles for adults that have been in magazines, but I have never done a book for adults. 
And Anne, where do you live? I live in West Hempstead, Long Island. Is it snowing yet? No, but it's cold and the leaves have all changed colors. Cool. It's very pretty, actually. Very nice. I think Aldi's saying something, but I can't hear him. Oh, he said she lives on an island? <laughs> I do. It's a long island. <laughs> a really long island. It's part of New York. Yeah. It's near where Auntie Mia lives. That's funny. I never thought about that. <laughs> we lived on Long Island for about a year in Rock Yeah, where'd you Center. live? Oh, Rock very Wilson. close. Yeah, very yeah, close. To, yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah. We used to okay, so we're, we're Lanzmann, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, thank okay. you so much, Anne. Yeah, thank you. And it's, a, you know, have a really wonderful yeah. time. Everybody. You got one day left. One That's more great. time. To light the train and the pink menorahs. So happy Hanukkah to everybody. Happy Hanukkah. Thank happy you. Hanukkah. Thank so, you. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. Chag Sameach. Hope you guys come back for another program. We'll be happy to have you. It was lovely to meet everybody. Happy Hanukkah.